Welcome back. I've got a camera backpack to look at today. This was sent in via KNF Concept and they're calling it their lightweight DSLR uh, camera backpack or bag. So what I'm going to do is run through this just to show you in detail. I'm also going to put measurements on the screen, my own measurements that I've taken, just so you get a better idea of the bag. So we're starting with the front um, pouch there I've put the measurements on screen and along the bottom we have what looks like very similar to seat belt material a bit thinner along the base and the bottom of this is actually feels like a nylon material rather than a plastic so that's water resistant and hopefully will hold up to use so unzipping the front compartment I'll show you in detail this is the uh, area for a laptop think a smaller laptop around about 13 inch screen and you've two padded sections in there, uh, the thinner padding on the top part rather than a big full size laptop. But you could fit something like a tablet or a surface. And on the uh, front, there you have a mesh that's open mesh which is elasticated and a reinforced handle again with some mesh underneath there. So there's a, a solid section in that, and it's also overstitched on the edges, obviously, as we want to uh, hold a bit of weight with this. So it needs to have some additional um, sewing in there. These are two straps on the front where you can attach things there if you want. And you have two plastic D-rings. It's always handy to have these because you can put extra things like uh, water bottles or memory card holders. And you have an elasticated adjuster for the two shoulder straps. And this can be moved up and down on either side. There's a rail there and it feels pretty solid. You do have a quick release buckle. So you can adjust that up and down depending on and your fit and your height and also adjust the length of the shoulder straps so they're sewn in on the edges um, on this side there isn't actually that much I perhaps would have put a strap going across there where you could uh, hold something else on the side but you could put something along the bottom there's that seat belt type material again which goes all the way around both sides well, on the left side we have an area where you can put a tripod or a monopod and it doesn't have a quick release buckle, I would have liked that, but you'll have to open that out. And at the bottom you'll see there's a pouch area which is a Velcro attachment. So the idea with this is just unzip it and then put the leg down through that and then tighten up the strap so it will hold a tripod. This is probably a larger tripod than I would carry with this backpack. It's quite a large one, but even that uh, holds fairly securely once you've adjusted the strap and tightened it up. Would have liked a quick release buckle on that or perhaps an additional strap going across, but it works well enough. Seems to be solid enough to be able to hold a heavier tripod. Remember, it's a lightweight backpack, so generally you're going to be keeping the size of extra items on the outside down, sort of unbalance the weight otherwise. Now on the back, your ventilation with the mesh and obviously sewn in four strips. There's plenty of padding on this backpack, it has to be said, um, elasticated on all of the zips on the tips of them, so it makes it easier to find the zips. And we're getting into the main compartment now, which is obviously the most important part of the bag. Now they're calling it a lightweight backpack, so to me that means sort of up to a mid-size DSLR and it's going to vary depending on the camera. So let's have a look at the flap first at the bottom. This one is plastic coated mesh with a zipper on that. Again, all the sizes are on the screen, my own measurements, and you have a top part as well, top pocket. There's nothing holding that shut though, so I'm not exactly sure what I would put in that area. I'd prefer if they had uh, elasticated or Velcro or even another zip. So the main compartment what I've done with this is just to show you the two central sections are reinforced otherwise things will start to flop around and move when you lift it up the backpack and that's an important difference compared to some of the super budget ones which I've um, had a go with over the years sort of 15 20 pound ones and generally it's not a very good experience as far as the sizes go on this it's more about the depth of items than the length because there's quite a bit of space inside this backpack uh, depending on how you organize the segments and sections you can move it around you've double velcro strips going all the way along inside and around the edges so you can customize it pretty much to how you want and I'll show you a few examples this part here will hold a camera and lens in place and it's elasticated so you can also open that out if you need to uh, get the camera out easier so think sort of mid-size camera 
rather than this one here which has a grip on so gripped cameras are, are not going to fit unless possibly you've got one of those uh, mirrorless ones which is very small again camera size on screen is about as big as I'd want to put into this bag in terms of the height so something like uh, D7000 series uh, 7D up to that would be fine or smaller and this camera is something a bit more sensible for this type of camera backpack um, on my own backpack which is shown here it's a bit taller and the reason I have that is because I tend to use a gripped camera different bags for different types of user That was just a quick time lapse I put together just to show you some of the potential loadout options that you have. And obviously it's going to be quite varied depending on the types of camera and lenses that you use. The only thing that I would say is just take into account the depth and length of lenses. This particular lens, the Tokina, that I have ultra wide, that's about as tall as you'll want to put standing up in this case. So if you've lenses similar in size to that, take into account the caps as well, add a bit of size as well as the hood then just lay them down uh, particularly for sort of telephoto lenses things like flash guns will quite easily fit into this but if you find you need more space you can just open out one area there and gives you a nice long section if you need it it's not really designed to be holding fast uh, heavy lenses that is one thing to say but it does have quite varied loadout options as far as improvements on the zip I, on the inside panel I would have put just a fabric covering over that and that top part either a velcro strip or put another zip going across I'm not really sure what I put in there that's an area that I would like to see improved and on this side just a strap going across horizontally so you could uh, attach something else there you can use the bottom one these are just areas that I'm thinking about improving as far as zip quality they look pretty good but I just have to use this longer term to see how it holds up I've just put a few pictures for you now just to give you an idea of what it looks like when you're wearing the backpack. It's not too heavy. It would suit a medium sort of loadout or someone with um, sort of entry level SLR to mid level or compact system camera would work quite well on this. So do go through and check those measurements. The outside material is uh, water resistant. You can see the water sitting on the surface, but the zips aren't, so you will need a cover if you're going to go out in the rain. My own backpack here does have waterproof zips. It costs about £150, that one. Big difference in price, and I still have to use a cover on that just to be sure. So that's something to bear in mind. With areas such as zips and seams, they do look to be well made from what I can see, uh, but you just have to use a product like this long term to get a realistic idea of how things hold up and as with all my reviews if there's anything comes to light later on I will add that to the comments section but for around about the £45 mark I think it offers quite a bit with just a few small areas which I would change to the design to improve it overall 